everybody, I'm Nasty Mold, and in this video we are going to find all of today's seasonal candles, we're going to do the daily quests, we'll get information on today's shard event, and we'll find the candle cakes. But first up, we are going to do the season candles, and we do have a double season candle event on for this week, so we should find eight of them instead of the standard four. So you have two in the very beginning area, one on the steps here, and then one that's just behind us towards the left hand side. And then the rest are all around the elevator and then on the second floor. We will be able to get two total seasonal candles today as each one of these will give us 25% of the wax needed to forge a season candle. So we have one over there, one here, this will be our fourth, one behind this little corner here, which would be our fifth, and then our last one for the floor right here, which would be our sixth. Let's get the elevator started and we're going to make our way up to the second floor for our final two. On the second floor, they're pretty easy to find. We have one behind this lamp here, and then one in front of that four-player door. And again, collecting all of these will give us two total seasonal candles. The last one right here. Awesome. With those collected, let's get started on today's daily quests. To collect the purple light, we have to enter the archives, which we can find on the right-hand side of the first floor here in the Vault of Knowledge. It's pretty easy to enter, but you do need to make sure you have two people at the door to enter it. And the door is sometimes a bit buggy, so sometimes it won't open, sometimes you have to try again. It's a little weird. I recommend flying over this end part here, or you'll have to see a little cutscene. And then we're just going to fly underneath this uh, cube thing here and fly up, and we should fly right into that purple light. To catch the light, we can find it on the first floor of the Vault of Knowledge. It might be just flying around above your head. You just gotta look up and fly into it. To admire the sapling, we can find it on the first floor, just towards the left-hand side. All we have to do is wait by it for 60 seconds, and the quest should complete. The rainbow candles can be found on the fourth floor. It's just over here by this little broken temple. All we have to do is fly into it. You don't have to collect the candles, but you might as well. Our daily rotating treasure candles can be found in the hidden forest today. Our first one is in the social space. And the next is in the next area, the forest brook, at the very end. Don't get stuck on the mushrooms like I did. Let me out! In the next area, once again, the broken bridge, we can find our third. Under the first part of the broken bridge. And then our fourth and final one can be found in the sunny forest. I'm just going to fly there in case people are a bit confused. We just turn around and fly through these tree roots, and this will bring us to the sunny forest. Then once we're in, we are just going to go to the very first gazebo, and our last treasure cake is here. Today's shard event is a red shard we can find in the Valley of Triumph. This one is in the Village of Dreams, we just have to go through this little portal and we're going to head down there. Because this is a red shard, we'll be awarded with some ascended candles upon completion, and we can visit one of these shattering memories to get a wing of light. The shard timing is on the screen now. This is in PDT or PST time. If you'd like to convert it into your own time zone, just check the link below in the description. There's a really helpful website that shows it in your time zone and also the upcoming shards. Be careful, I really recommend bringing something to help charge you in case you get hit, but the shard event should be somewhere around here. Somewhere in this general area, around this ice rink, maybe a little bit further. And yeah, that is it for today's shard event. Good luck! And that is it for today's daily changes in the Vault of Knowledge. Thank you so much, as always, for watching, you guys. I hope you found this helpful, hope you enjoyed, and I will, of course, see you in the next video. Bye-bye!